<clears throat> okay, I've opened your plan. Thanks for sharing it, by the way, in uh, my copy of Home Design Center Pro 2019. I'm going to click on this and we'll do an auto stairwell. And you have to understand about this software, a lot of its automatic functions are preset by the creators of the, of the software. So it's incumbent upon you when you're doing it. I'm going to create a, well, angle snaps is off. Let me turn angle snaps on. I didn't realize that. I never do anything with angle snaps off. And let's get rid of that. The object snaps and auto, I mean, angle snaps on. Okay. Now we'll do a cross section just through the stairs and there we go. And you want this plate to continue. Well, I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to use this tool in the edit toolbar. Oh, you don't have that in Pro. <laughs> you have it in Cheap Architect, but not in Pro. Okay, never mind. I'm just going to click on this and extend it. And you notice it, it was yapping about uh, the automatic framing being on. Well, I don't use automatic framing. I auto, use automatic framing to, to as an initial starting point and then to bypass its auto, auto, automatic features, then I'll just do this. Click on that, extend it. Now, if you want this, you can see that these pat are not particularly passing through here. Let's see, what else can we do? There's no break line tool like in Chief Architect Premier. Uh, what you could do is uh, extend this and put it on top of the pl of triple plates there, like that. And uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of an easy way to do this. The point is, you can get in here with the manual tools and, and fix it up any way you want it. Click on that and get it lined up properly. <laughs> That's not, I'm not being very precise. Close that gap, you wouldn't. And a, a, a framer that, if you show this to a framer, he's not gonna frame it goofy. He's, he's gonna frame like he would in his uh, uh, own experience. He's not gonna, uh, I mean, why would you hire a carpenter that didn't know how to carpenter? You know, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm going to take this one here, which show, is short, and I'm going to copy paste it over here. We'll take the, uh, oh, there's no centering tool. Okay. I'm just going to carefully try to line that up a little better. Whoops. I was expecting there to be a centering tool in the edit tool, but there, but there isn't, so. <clears throat> There is a centering tool in Cheap Architect Premier. Okay, that's pretty centered. And so on. We'll copy this one over here. See, okay, it takes a few minutes, but you can get it exactly the way you want it. You don't have to just go with the automatic framing. You can manually edit this stuff any way you like. See, I need to line that up a little bit better. That's better. This one here, click on it, pull it up, put it on top. Take this one, copy it. I mean, the uh, automatic functions do a pretty good job, but they don't do a perfect job and that it's incumbent upon you to make it look like the way you want it to look. Okay, thanks for watching. That's all I had to comment on this. Have a good day.